The following tools are required when assembling our ADA accessibility ramp systems. One, adjustable wrench or 15 16 ratchet wrench. One three to four foot long level and a tape measure. Let's start assembling an ADA compliant straight ramp system. Before beginning, ensure that all the required components of the RAM system are on hand and ready for installation. Remove the legs, support posts, and cover posts that are stored in the RAM platform and store them in a safe place. They will be needed to assemble the RAM platform. Place the RAM platform down at the point in which the top of the RAM system should start at. The side with the male extrusion should face in the direction that the ramp system will lay. Place the six pocket ramp platform on its side so that the male extrusion is facing up. Locate one of the left ADA platform legs. These are the legs with the offset foot pads. Note that the left ADA platform legs have a top bolt and a middle bolt that are on opposite sides of each other. Remove the top bolt and washer, then store them in a safe place. They will be needed later during assembly. Install the ADA left leg into the bottom left pocket of the platform, and slide the post in until it reaches the square positioning ring. The leg's middle bolt will need to be loosened, but not fully removed from the leg in order to get the positioning ring to come in contact with the pocket. It is important to make sure that the positioning square ring comes fully in contact with the underside of the pocket. Locate one of the right ADA platform legs. These are the legs with the offset foot pads. Note when facing the right ADA legs middle bolt, the top bolt will face to the right. Remove the top bolt and washer, then store in a safe place. They will be needed later during assembly. Insert the ADA right leg into the bottom right pocket of the platform and slide the post in until it reaches the positioning square ring. The leg's middle bolt will need to be loosened, but not fully removed from the leg in order to get the positioning ring to come in contact with the pocket. The top bolt hole on this platform right leg should be facing out in this manner. Locate another right platform leg. Remove the top bolt and washer, then store them in a safe place. They will be needed later during assembly. Rotate this leg so that the middle bolt faces the first set of installed legs. Insert the platform right leg pocket into the top left pocket of the platform and slide the post in until it reaches the square positioning ring. The leg's middle bolt will need to be loosened, but not fully removed from the leg in order to get the positioning ring to come in contact with the pocket. The top bolt hole on this platform right leg should be facing out in this manner. Locate another left platform leg. Remove the top bolt and washer, then store in a safe place. They will be needed later during assembly. Rotate this leg so that the middle bolt faces the first set of installed legs. Insert the ADA left leg into the top right pocket of the platform and slide the post in until it reaches the square positioning ring. The leg's middle bolt will need to be loosened, but not fully removed from the leg in order to get the positioning ring to come in contact with the pocket. The top bolt hole of this leg will face the same direction as the platform's male extrusion. In this case, that bolt hole will face up. Using a tape measure, set the height of the platform to the appropriate height of the ramp system by sliding the inner leg in or out of the leg sleeve. Once the proper leg height is set, tighten the leg's middle bolt into the pocket's notch while ensuring that the positioning ring is still in contact with the underside of the pocket. Set the leg height and tighten the middle bolt of all four of the platform legs. Locate both the left and right platform handrail inner support posts. Remove the top bolts and washers from the inner support posts and store them in a safe place. They will be used later during assembly. Rotate the inner support post so that the bottom bolt faces down. Insert the posts into the inner support post pocket and slide it in until it lines up with the neighboring platform leg. The inner support post top bolt hole should face in towards the top of the walking surface. The inner support posts come with two sets of bolts and washers. Use the set with the smaller washer and shorter bolt to attach the inner support post to the platform's inner support post pocket. Be sure to keep the inner support post as still as possible, so that the top of the post will line up with the top of the platform legs. Install the other inner support post into the other inner support post pocket. Make sure that the top of the post is at the same height as the top of the platform legs, and the top bolt hole faces the other support post. Rotate the platform with the legs and support posts installed so that it sits on the foot pads of the platform's legs and ensure that the platform is level. 
Locate the first ram section and place it up against the ramp platform so that the male extrusion faces up. Locate the first ramp section's legs. Ramp section legs have centered foot pads. The top and middle bolts are on opposite sides of the ramp section legs. Remove the top bolt and washer, then store them in a safe place. They will be needed later during assembly. Insert the ramp section legs into the ramp section's leg pocket so that the leg's middle bolt faces away from the ramp section and the leg's top bolt faces in toward the ramp section. Loosen, but do not fully remove the middle bolt on the ramp section leg so that the leg can be inserted fully into the leg pocket. The leg positioning square ring must be pushed all the way to the bottom of the leg pocket. Using a tape measure, set the leg height to 5 inches less than the leg height the platform legs were set to. Hand tighten the leg's middle bolt to hold the leg in place. With the legs in place, clip the ramp section to the ramp platform's male extrusion so that the ramp section foot pads land on the ground surface. Use a level to verify that the ramp section doesn't lean in a direction perpendicular to its slope. A digital level can be used to measure the angle, but the slope of the ramp must be verified before the ramp can be used. ADA requires accessibility ramps to have a slope of 1 inch of rise for every 12 inches of run. To verify the ramp is set to this slope, make a mark on a 3 to 4 foot long level at 12 inches from one end. Place the level on the ramp platform and line the mark up with the edge of the platform so that 12 inches of the level protrudes over the ramp section. The slope is correctly set if the end of the level sits 1 inch straight up from the ramp section's walking surface. If the slope is incorrect, the ramp section legs, middle bolts can be loosened and the ramp can pivot up or down to the correct slope. After the correct slope is set, re-tighten the leg bolts to keep the ramp in place. Before installing the remaining ramp sections, check to make sure your ramp placement and slope will work for your application by using a string line to double check how your ramp system will lay on your site. If your string makes contact with the ground before it reaches 30 feet of run, measure the length of the string from the ground to the platform. If it is off by more than 5 inches, you will need to use one less ramp section per 5 inches. If it is off by less than 5 inches, you will only need to reduce the slope. To reduce the slope, pull the string out 30 feet, then lift the first ramp section, till it touches the string, and then readjust the legs. If your string line runs more than 30 feet before it touches the ground, at 1 and 12 inch slope, you will need an intermediate platform and additional ramp sections. Measure how far your string line is off the ground. Each additional 5 inches off the ground will require an additional ramp section. Install the remaining ramp sections onto the ramp system in the same way the first ramp section was installed. Set each following ramp section's legs 5 inches less than the one before it. While installing the remaining ramp sections, make sure the slope is correctly set on each ramp section. Clip the ramp wedge to the last ramp section using the ramp section's male clip. Relocate all sets of bolts and washers that were removed from the top bolt hole of each leg, and set each pair next to its corresponding platform leg or ramp section leg. Locate the four 44 inch cover posts that came with the ramp platform. Slide the cover posts over the inner support posts, and orient the cover posts so that the cover posts bolt holes match up with the support post bolt holes. Slide a cover post over the front right platform leg while also matching up the bolt holes. Place the final cover post over another platform leg depending on which side of the ramp the building's entry will be on. Place the cover so that the bolt holes line up. Locate two platform picket guards. The platform picket guards are rectangular in shape. Slide the platform picket guards over the tops of the platform legs and over the post covers in an orientation that the bolt holes of the picket guards will line up with the bolt holes on the platform legs and posts. Locate one left and one right ramp section picket guard for each ramp section in the ramp system. 
Ramp section picket guards are somewhat diamond shaped and have both of their bolt holes on the left or right side. Slide the left and right ramp section picket guard posts over the top of the ramp section leg so that the bolt holes are facing inward toward the ramp walking surface. Install the remaining right and left ramp section picket guards in this manner. Locate one left and one right wedge picket guard. Ramp wedge picket guards are shaped like small ramp section picket guards. And like ramp section picket guards, they have both of their bolt holes on the left or right side. Pivot the ramp wedge swiveling inner support posts up so that they stand parallel with the ramp section legs. Slide the first ramp wedge picket guards post over the ramp wedge inner support post and ensure that the picket guard angle post attaches to the previous ramp section picket guard post. The bolt holes must face in toward the ramp and they should line up with the bolt holes on the wedge inner support posts as well as the bolt hole on the previous ramp section's picket guard. Repeat this process to install the ramp wedge picket guard on the opposing side of the previously installed wedge picket guard. Make sure to install all cover posts and picket guards that are required on this ramp system. Locate the inner handrails that are used with this ramp system. Straight ramp systems come with large looped inner rails for the wedge, intermediate handrails for the middle ramp sections, and small looped top rails for the ramp section that clips to the top platform. Place the right and left inner handrails next to the wedge and ramp section's picket guards. Place the large looped wedge inner handrails down on the ramp wedge. Place the hockey stick shaped intermediate handrails on the middle ramp sections. And place the small looped top ramp section handrails on the top ramp section. Using the bolt and washer that came attached to the ramp wedge's inner support post, attach the wedge inner handrail's first bracket to the nut inside the wedge inner support post bolt hole. Attach the second bracket of the wedge inner support post to the nut of the previous ramp section's leg's top bolt hole, using the bolt and washer that was removed from this leg before the leg was installed. Slide the intermediate handrail of the ramp section directly next to the ramp wedge over the swedged portion of the ramp wedge's inner handrail. Using the washer and bolt that was placed by the next ramp section's leg, attach the intermediate inner handrail to the nut in the leg's top bolt hole. Install these intermediate inner rails to the remaining ramp sections except for the top ramp section. Install the small loop top ramp section handrail over the previous inner handrail swedged end. Use the bolt and washer that came fastened to the support post top bolt hole to fasten the handrail's bracket to the nut in the top bolt hole of the support post. Install all of the inner handrails required for this ramp system, then tighten all handrail bolts. Tighten all bolts to 50 foot-pounds.